Wii Month. Hello guys, this is the last creeper here, and welcome to a new video in Wii Month. And today, I wanted to talk about my experiences with the Wii Shop channel. So the Wii Shop channel was pretty interesting for me, and but a huge part of it though was the virtual console. And let's start with that. So the virtual console was is kind of like the eShop, but way better. It was pretty cool because it provided me with experiences of older games so I could play the classics like it's a new game. Isn't that awesome? And it was, and it still is to this day. So the thing was, there was a lot of Nintendo stuff, obviously, because it's the Nintendo Wii. But there were some other companies who had their stuff on the Wii Shop channel. They had like Genesis games, Master System games, Turbo Graphics 16 games, and even arcade games. Can you believe that? The Wii Shop channel had so much to offer, but sadly I didn't really play too much of it, so I don't know everything about all these consoles or how they experienced. But the games I played, woo -hoo -hoo, they were incredible. So, because I was able to play these classic games on a new console, it, it's kind of like a new game in a sense, but it's old. Isn't that weird? I don't know. And this is why I'm liking retro games to this day more and more. While all the new games that you see in the market aren't really so well, you just need to go back and play the classics and see why gaming is awesome in the first place. And I felt that the Virtual Console did an awesome job. This is how I played such incredible classics like Super Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time and the original Super Mario Brothers. The game that brought back video gaming. Boom! It's just unbelievable how Nintendo was able to pull this off. And I still can't believe it took a little while for this to happen. But remember, the Wii was the first console to have internet, so that kind of makes sense. So, another big part of the Wii were the channels. Not, and I'm not talking about the Wii or Wear stuff, but I'm talking about the software. And there were three channels in particular that were pretty cool. The first one is the Check Me Out channel. So the Check Me Out channel was pretty cool because you could see all the Mii's people made from around the world. You could see Mii's of people, fictionist people, and even objects sometimes. Huh, isn't that weird? Even though some of the Mii's I uploaded may not have been as good as the ones you see online, they're still pretty incredible. And this was before you could just look up any me on the internet, you know? The Check Me Out channel was nice and all because it made me feel like that I'm not the only one who likes enjoying me's and this made me wanted to make me's more often which is a good thing and it's sure that me's weren't just avatars either just compare it to the Xbox avatars they're cool and all but the Wii's avatars were incredible and the Check Me Out channel did a good job of showing it. It's kind of like a museum, only for me characters. But one other part about it was the contests. So you had a theme, and then you had a me. So you had to make a me to that theme, and you could win if you won the contest. You didn't really win anything, sure, but it was still fun trying it out. But for some reason, I still got these weird picture things, even though I didn't even come close to first. I don't know. But another part of the Wii that was great was the Nintendo channel. The Nintendo channel is kind of like the Nintendo YouTube channel right now, but a little more interactive. You could look up videos uh, that talked about new games, you could download demos to your DS, which I never really did. But you could also look at games and see how well they are rated. Just, wow, and this is before YouTube really kicked off, and this is also before Nintendo 
showed off a lot of their stuff with a flashy Nintendo Directs and all. It's sad to see these two channels go, including the Check Me Out channel, because I remember just browsing through the Nintendo channel, seeing what new stuff they had. I remember seeing that mini direct about the Flipnote Studio thing, and waiting a long time until just last year, it came out. But one last channel that was awesome in particular was the Everybody Votes channel. This channel was pretty cool because it's a voting channel, basically. And you would think, oh, it's a voting channel, so it's crap. Not really, necessarily. So every week or two, there would be this question that you would have, and then you could choose a side. For example, do you like hot dogs? Yes or no? And it, it wasn't just uh, a yes or no question and you would see the results. It felt more interactive. Just, I remember going back each week to see the new results and being excited watching the animation of seeing which one would win and being either happy that my side won or disappointed that my side lost. Kind of how with the Splatfest work today. While these channels kind of feel familiar today with all this new stuff, I feel that these channels were necessary to help Nintendo boost their social experience. All the consoles in the market now have a huge social experience, but I feel that the Nintendo Wii started off right with all these three channels combined, and I feel that the Wii Shop channel was a big part of the Wii's system success. If the Wii Shop channel wasn't there, I couldn't play the original Super Mario Brothers, unless there was emulation, but nah, I don't want to do that. I couldn't uh, look at to see the potential of Mii's, and I couldn't learn how the voting system works. I mean, wow. I'm very disappointed that some of these services with the Wii Shop channel don't really work anymore, but Every time I hear that opening theme when you come in the Wii Shop channel, it just gives me so much nostalgia, just remembering to browse through everything and experiencing all this stuff. Anyways guys, thanks for watching my retrospective on the Wii Shop channel. If you want to see more retrospectives, then let me know in the comments below. And also, this isn't the last video of Wii Month, so if you want to see more videos on Wii Month, then be sure to subscribe to be notified. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.